What's up gamers, it's me guinea pig and today I will be showing you guys how you can make an easy and simple iron farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is the cheapest iron farm that you can ever get in the Minecraft Bedrock version because there is no cheaper than this because yeah 10 villagers with 20 beds is the cheapest iron farm that you can ever get in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is working like as you can see iron comes spawn, they die. They don't get collected into the chest and pretty simple let's go with the quick mechanics of how this farm works this farm requires 10 villagers with 20 beds which is the bare minimum of one angle spawn that is the bare minimum if you go any lower than 10 villagers or any lower than 20 beds then iron golems will not spawn that is a necessary 10 villagers with 20 beds is a necessary thing and that is the bare minimum of having one iron golem spawn only now this is pretty simple just 10 villagers link all workstation make sure they link to 10 make sure link to 10 beds and make sure there are 20 beds as well in total for a village and yeah it's, it's very simple it's really easy design nothing too much complicated this time i decided to put the villager pods outside so you can go ahead and you know make sure the last design it was in the center and also it was 20 villagers it was kind of hard i'll be honest with you and yeah it's pretty simple it's easy straightforward also i have used leaf blocks because iron golems can actually spawn on slabs i have i i did check i did know about that i did i did i do know about that after when i afk i came to the realization that they did spawn on slabs but it is a bug i believe it is a bug and to prevent that you can use leaves leaves will actually stop any mobs from spawning it will stop mobs general mobs it will stop these iron golems also it will stop cats from spawning on leaves so make sure to use leaves so that's why i'm using leaves as well so it's pretty simple as you can see iron golem just spawned and now he's going to the kill chamber and he's gonna die he's gonna be in the vault of this iron ingot and that's it simple now you'll be wondering what are the weights of this farm. The weights of this farm is right in this chest. So there are two layers in this farm, like two weights for different layers. So if you only decide to build one layer, you will get 240 ingots per hour. Yeah, three stacks per 30. Sometimes you will get more, sometimes you will get less because of RNG. So you will get three stacks plus 30 ingots per hour. And if you decide to build two layers, you will get 4 stacks plus 23 ingots per hour, that's 270 ingots per hour, like that's a lot better than one layer. It's up to you which one you like, if you want 2 layers, if you want the 270 stacks for 10 villagers for 20 beds, keep in mind 10 villagers plus 20 beds, okay, that's the bare minimum. If you want to have 4 stacks, then I'll highly recommend you to build 2 layers, just one layer on top of it, because iron golems actually have a Spawn check like this whole layer is 256 blocks plus 256 out of here so the limit is actually 512 blocks they need 512 blocks 512 blocks is the maximum spawning spots they can spawn and there is a 1 in 700 chance of iron golem spawning so yeah it does take time but once they spawn you have to we have to quickly kill the iron golems for the next one to spawn so the quicker the iron golem kill, dies the faster the farm works so that is how i'm going as you can see he spawn he's going down into the kill chamber and he's dying and the quickly quickly he dies the next one gets the opportunity to spawn so it's pretty simple straightforward and let's get right into what important things that you need to do before you build this farm now let's talk about the location where you need to build this farm you have to build this farm 96 blocks away from any village any villager type farms, any workstations, any beds, any bells. It should be 96 blocks away from any of those stuff that I mentioned. I will highly recommend you not to be so precise, like not to be exactly 96 blocks. The more blocks you go, the better. Like 100 blocks, 200 blocks, that will actually be safe because you don't want any of the villagers linking to any of those stuffs and just break your iron farm. So make sure you build 96 or 100 blocks away or more from any of the beds workstations, village, any villager type farms like villager breeders, any villager cop farms, make sure it's far from any beds, bells as well and make sure it's far just 
so you don't be in a pain once you build the iron farm so make sure it's far away from any of those stuffs so you can have a happy and really good iron farm now let's go ahead and talk about what villages you should not use in this iron farm you should not use a villager who is a baby you cannot use a baby villager because they don't work in order for iron golem farm to work the villagers should be working baby villagers will not link to any villagers because the babies like how are they able to work like come on you cannot use these guys the nitwits the green coat villagers because they don't work to any workstations and they don't link to any workstations and they don't even work so yeah these guys are just useless you cannot use a previously traded villager you cannot use any villager from your trading hall you cannot use a villager from a village okay keep in mind that you, you are not allowed to use any villager from a pre, from a village to create your iron farm like you cannot use a previously traded village as well because in order for iron golem swarm to work you have to give a villager a workstation for them to link now if you have you if you are using a previous villager who has already been traded his profession is locked then he cannot be switched to other professions so he is also useless now the villager that you need is a clean unemployed villager who is able to work or who is able to link to any workstation that he has been given so yeah these without any dress without any like you know the workstation dress just the brown villager yep this clean guy you need these you need this villager and in the number of 10 just 10 villagers of these and yeah that's it this is the only villager that you need in this farm and also you can get those clean unemployed villagers from a villager breeder if you don't have one i have a link to the video down in the description below or if you have or if you would love to build a different design there are lots of tutorials on youtube you can go ahead and build any which you like but you need to have 10 unemployed villagers and it is mandatory these are the only six workstations that you are allowed to use on this iron farm because these six workstations or these these six professions will work during the rain as well as the thunder time if you use any workstations beyond these six then you will have issues when you afk at rain because iron golems will not spawn on rain time if you use any other workstations beside these six so these six workstations will work in the rain time and the cheapest one is the flat table because it only requires two flint and it's the cheapest i recommend the fletching table but you can use any of it's up to you which one you would love but yeah i'll recommend the fletching table if you would love to test this farm before you go ahead and build it in your survival worlds link to the world is provided down in the description below it is a direct link to media fire yes a direct link you can go ahead and test and you can run a dollar and test it out and let's get right into the materials list this is all what you need you need 10 stacks of solid blocks 41 glass blocks you can also use solid blocks but i'm using glass just for green purposes 10 workstations like i said any six but in the quantity of 10 you need 14 signs you need two stacks plus 38 leaves it should be leaves you need two stacks plus 50 string you need 10 villagers like i said unemployed villagers from a villager breeder you need four hoppers two chests the collection system is up to you and you need 20 beds you need one dispenser it's temporary i mean you need one lever or power it's temporary as well you need four soul campfires you need two water bucket for infinite source and you need one lava bucket and that is the material list for this iron farm and materials list is also provided down in the description below and let's get right into the tutorial you need an 18 long by 18 wide by 12 tall area and if you would love to map this out you can go ahead and take a screenshot and just you know you can just wait um, i'll just wait for some few seconds we would love to just yeah first of all go ahead and place your chest followed by four hoppers connecting in the back just like this so one two three four make sure all the four hoppers are connected to the chest now go ahead and grab your soul campfires and crouch place on top of the hopper like this so one two three four now once done grab your glass blocks and place them like this once 
one is done. Now stand on the grass block and tower six blocks up. Now make now count the first. Now count this block as one. Now it'll be two, three, four, five. Now make sure the sixth block is a solid block. Now go ahead and do the same thing to all of these areas. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, one solid block. Same two, three, four, five, six, one solid block. You get the point. Two, three, four, five, six, one solid block. Once done, the chamber tube should look something like this. Now make your way into the chamber tube and place signs in this location. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. Make sure the signs are placed exactly like this. Now grab your lava bucket and place it in the corner like this. Now the lava should flow till the end. Don't worry, the signs will not catch on fire. That's because signs are non flammable objects in the bedrock version. And yeah. Signs will not catch on fire. The iron golems are three blocks tall and they will die from the fire damage, fire damage from the lava, and also they will take extra damage from soul campfires because soul campfires actually deal one whole heart of damage, meaning two hit points. So this fastens up the kill. This fastens up the kill and gives more uh, more opportunity for the iron golems to spawn. Now, stand over here and bridge eight blocks forward. Now, count this block as one. This will be two, this will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure it's eight blocks. I'm going to do it again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now do the same in this location as well. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same in this area. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Get the point the same. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, once done, go ahead and join all of these till the end, till the edge, and fill up the whole area. Make sure to use solid blocks because iron golems will only spawn on solid blocks. They will not spawn on top half slabs. Okay, solid blocks are necessary because iron golems are considered to spawn on solid blocks in the game code. So, yeah, make sure to use solid blocks. You can use a cobblestone. Don't use wood because we are using lava, so the fire might spread, so I will recommend to use solid blocks. Once done, the platform should look something like this. Now go ahead and grab your signs and place it in this location. So now place the sign over here. Now crouch place a sign on top of the sign. Now go ahead and place a sign like this on top. Make sure it's connected like this. Now place a sign over here and one over here so once done it should look something like this make sure you have done in this configuration first place the sign over here crouch place the sign on top crouch place the sign over here crouch place here and here now this sign formation will block the water from actually falling into the kill chamber and making and this will prevent the lava from being obsidian so yeah make sure you do this correctly now make your way to the corner of any like you can go to any edge and place the solid block here. Okay, now you can break this block. Now grab your leaves and place a temporary block here, followed by leaves blocks in these locations. Make sure leaf blocks are placed like this. Now you can break this block. Make sure it's like this. Okay, make sure it's like this. Now go ahead and place leaf blocks like this underneath over here. And make sure you have done this correctly. Okay, leaves here, leaves here, leaves underneath. The solid block on top, and this will be where the water will. This is where the water will go. Like the water flowing, water will stay. Now go ahead and create this there in that edge and that edge and that as well. So if you didn't understand what I meant, place a solid block here. Break this one. Place a temporary block followed by leaves in these locations, as well as underneath the leaves. Now you can break the temporary block. Leaves over here. Leaves over here. And that is where the flowing water will stay. Now, if you are build this two together, now go ahead and connect the edges with leaves. Make sure to use leaves because iron golems and cats will not spawn on leaves. Okay. Previously, <coughs> sorry, they'll actually spawn on slabs for some reason. I don't know why, but leaves will completely prevent that. So make sure to use leaves. Now go ahead and do the same on all the other edges. 
once done it should look something like this make sure you have done the leaf placement correctly as well as the solid block placement correctly once done grab your temporary blocks or solid blocks and place make sure to leave one gap and place three blocks so that's one two three that's three that's three temporary blocks now place a block over here make sure that's two now go ahead and create this four more times so that's two three or a total or before now go ahead and create another one five so this is the area where the beds will stay so this is one two three four five if you don't know beds are two tall two blocks two blocks wide so that's five beds now go ahead and do the same over here as well so one two three that's temporary blocks and that'll be one bed two bed three bed four beds and that'll be the fifth one the same thing over here make sure the make sure to leave that block so one two three temporary that's one bed that's two bed that's three bed that's fourth bed and last but not least the fifth bed right over here the same thing over here leave that block so one two three one bed two bed three bed four bed now if you are unable to place or if you are unable to create the fifth row fifth bed just go ahead and find a free spot so for me this free spot over here so i'm going to, i'm just going to place the fifth bed right over here for that section and in total that should be that should be the place for 20 so you will be able to place 20 beds in these whole areas now you can go ahead and break all of these tower blocks because these are unnecessary now i will get back to this bed placement so make sure to keep this now go ahead and place the water place water first because water is necessary first so make sure to place water over here if you don't know how to create an infinite source it's really easy just go ahead and place two blocks here two blocks here two blocks here two blocks here just place your water in the edges like this and that's your infinite source i don't want this because i am on creator mode so so yeah if you're on survival mode you have to build an infinite source because you may need a lot of water so once done go ahead and place water in all of these edges first so that's one that's two and that's three make sure to place it on the solid block if you place it on a leaf you will waterlog it so make sure to place it on the solid block once done the water should look like this now go ahead and place water exactly how i'm doing make sure to skip this block and place water all around if you are smart you can just skip a block place water skip a block place water because the center will become the source and it will flow so you can go ahead and do that and once you have reached the end make sure to skip this block and skip this block as well if you don't skip these two blocks then you will flood the whole thing and you will be in pain to get rid of the whole water so make sure you do this correctly so skip these two blocks and just carry on placing water all the way around so skip these two the same you get the point let's do this all the way around once done all the water should flow like this make sure you have done this correctly if you don't then you're gonna flood this whole thing so yeah make sure all the water is flowing correctly into the kill chamber these signs pre prevent any existing water from flowing into the kill chamber and just making sure that the lava will not turn into obsidian so make sure you have done the sign placement correctly as well as the water placement now we have to place we have to make sure to create a villager pod so now you can go ahead and pick any direction you would love to build a villager pod so i'm gonna build it right over here now go ahead and line it right in, in between or just right to the kill chamber and go three blocks away so that's one that's two and the third block should be a leaf block make sure it's leaf this is where the villagers will stay now go ahead and break these temporary blocks now grab your glass blocks and create a diamond shape so that's one that's two over here that's three that's four you can get those temporary blocks and do the same over here by extending it one block up so one 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 that's it. these all are temporary because these all will be changed into workstations lately later now go ahead and place a temporary block here and grab your dispenser this i'll tell you why later now go ahead and break this place the dispenser make sure the dispenser is facing into the chamber okay now go ahead and crouch place a button or a lever to power dispenser go ahead and crouch place it 
make sure it's on the dispenser. If you're using a solid block, you can just place another solid block there. Now go ahead and open the dispenser and place your water bucket inside. Now it's the time where you bring in your villagers. So like I said, you need 10 unemployed villagers for this farm. So unemployed villagers, make sure they are from a villager breeder. So yeah, if you're in creative mode, you can use a spawn egg. So make sure there are 10 unemployed villagers into the farm. So that's one, two, three, four. Once it all, once all 10 villagers are inside, now go ahead and place a solid block on top. Now you can break this temporary block if there's any temporary block nearby. Now once done, go ahead and flick the lever on. The water will get dispensed. Now, whenever villagers are in water, they will not unlink. And this is actually found by Aura TV. This is a really good mechanic. This saves a lot of the iron farms, the villager trading halls and this is a really good mechanic and no one is actually crediting the person so i am leaving a, a link to the channel please go and check it out because this person literally saves save the whole iron farm from this little mechanic this unlinking mechanic so make sure to check out the channel because credit should be given where credit is due so yeah once the villagers are inside whatever they link they will never unlink so yeah Go ahead and once the one villagers are inside of water you can go ahead and break these temporary and go ahead and place a glass block over there you can place the temporary blocks anywhere nearby and once done you need to grab your beds so once you grab the beds, make sure you do this on daytime okay if you do this on any other time you may have any problem you may have some linking problems like unlinking and linking problems sometimes so make sure you do this on daytime I am doing on daytime because my day, my difficult my the time is set locked day, so it's always day. So make sure you do this on daytime. And and now you have to do is just place the bed. So go ahead and place your bed. So once you have placed the bed, you will see green particles. That means villagers will link. So make sure to do it slowly. So that's two. That's three. That is four now this will be the fifth bed make sure you do it slowly that will be the sixth bed that will be the seventh bed and this will be the eighth bed the last two more left that will be the ninth one uh, last but not least the tenth bed so that will be the all 10 villagers if you have 10 villagers inside it should be 10 villagers make sure that's 10 villagers so if you put 10 villagers all the 10 beds should be linked so if you go ahead and place 11th bed no one should link because there are 10 villagers if you have put more villagers then more beds will link so they will link the more beds so yeah make sure it's 10 so now go ahead and place beds just like that make sure the first 10 beds are placed correct carefully because you don't want them to like you know jump into and link to another one so make sure you do that carefully now once all the beds are done placing you need to carefully break these temporary solid blocks so make sure you carefully break this temporary. you will see cat spawning i have mob spawning disabled i will enable that after this is done so make sure you break these temporary blocks carefully make sure you break only the temporary blocks and not the beds okay i was going to break this bed but eventually i stopped it so make sure you break the temporary blocks only and once done it should look like this you will see cats spawning and they will float down into the kill chamber the only reason we played we replace water first is because if cats escaped outside and they go out of the 16 block radius from the villagers then if you kill them outside of the 16 block radius then these guys will not recognize that you have killed them so make sure that you have placed the water first because if there are more cats then iron golem spawns will get denied so the cats should die in order for iron golems to spawn so that is how the mechanics is like if there are if the cat cap is 10 if it's 10 if it's like there's 10 cat if there are 10 cats then iron golems just won't spawn so make sure the cats are going to the kill chamber and just meeting their doom so it is important now once that is done it's time for villager linking so make sure you do this on daytime as well like i said you don't want to be in any issues if you are doing a night time the linking over there linking will just jump into some for some reason i don't know why make sure you do this on daytime 
Now go ahead and place the workstation like over here like this. Like break the temporary glass block and just place it. Make sure he links it completely. Once the linking is done, go ahead and place another one. Make sure you do this slowly. This should be done slowly. So yeah, once this is done, then you don't need to do it again if you have done it correctly. Now once the link is done linking, I'm gonna place another one. So that section is two workstations. This will be the third one. Now that linking is done. Now uh, this will be the fourth workstation. Now once the stand is done linking, this will be the fifth one. I don't know what once that is done linking, this will be the sixth one. So that is two, four, and six in these areas. Once that's done linking, that will be the seventh. And the eighth one will be right over here. That is two, four, six, and eight. Now you need to put two workstations over here so that is one make sure he links to it completely and once that's done linking i'm going to place the last workstation right over here so once the workstation is done linking and once they have worked then iron golems will start to spawn so i'm just going to wait over here and sometimes you will get iron spawn <coughs> sorry about that sometimes you'll get iron golems spawn immediately after the 10th workstation has been linked so i'm just going to wait and see if iron golems sp has spawned or not as you can see, cats will start to spawn. So yeah, I have turned on mob spawning, so I'm just gonna wait. Now, if you're in a situation where I am now, where iron golems do not spawn, all you have to do is break the workstations again, break the workstations and redo the linking. So you have to break all the workstations and redo the linking. This is important. So if some of you guys will get iron golem spawns, some of you won't. So this if this is for some of you who didn't get iron golem spawns, just like me. So I'm just gonna break all the workstations and redo the linking again. Yes, it is important. This is important. There is no other way left. You have to do this. So make sure to break all the workstations. Now once all the workstations are broken. Okay, now you have to spawn, huh? Sometimes they will do that, it's just ignore that. So, if you are in a situation where iron golems didn't spawn, you just have to break all the workstations and redo the linking again. Just wait for a few seconds once all the workstations are broken and go ahead and redo the linking again. Prevent, pretend that iron golems didn't spawn. So, once the linking is done, make sure to do this slowly as well. So, once the iron golems have spawned, you can go ahead and place leaf blocks in these locations make sure it's leaf blocks because you don't want any cats or iron golems from spawning on top or just in case if you accidentally start a raid you don't want them to spawn over here and this leaf blocks prevent any raids from spawning on top of the, on inside of the villager so make sure you place leaves as well so i'm gonna wait for any iron golems to spawn so yeah see all the 10 villagers have linked and they have spawned so this is my second time breaking the whole workstation and doing it again. So yeah, you may you only need to do is this one time, but I am in a laggy world, so I think that might be the reason why it took time. But you only need to do this breaking one time if I'm going to the spawn, okay? So make sure. So once done, that's it. Like if you only want to build one layer, then your farm is complete. Make sure to place string on top of these okay if you're building one if you're only building one layer make sure to place string on all of these areas okay string over here string over here string in these edges in these locations as well underneath and also string here here and also here what the string does is this prevents lightning from striking on the leaves so if lightning if you are if you are building this bar if you're building this farm in a biome where rain happens lightning can actually strike on top of the leaves and cause fire and yeah the water will flood down and there's a chance iron golems can go down and over here you'll be facing issues so string will prevent lightning uh, string will prevent lightning fire from catching on the leaves and so make sure you do that and if you, are, if you don't want one layer, you can go ahead and build a second layer just like that. Go ahead and crouch place a solid block on the bed. Make sure to create the 2x2 chamber, 2x2 hole, make sure that you do that. And just build the same thing, it's the same platform design, the same, there's no changes. 
make sure to move all the cats into the water stream because cats actually destroy the rates of ongoing songs so if you want to kill so make sure you kill them let's do the same thing okay that's two that's three that's four that's five six seven eight you get the point the same platform with the leaf placement once done it should look something like this the second layer should look like this it's just the same exact just the same exact build they will spawn on top they will fall down to the kill chamber and yeah now go ahead and grab your string and place it on top of these areas because string will actually prevent fire from catching on these leaves now if you are afk sometimes lightning can strike on sometimes lightning can strike on these leaves and prevent and just cause them to uh, be on fire and a lot of issues will happen so make sure to put string on all of the edges so you don't get any fire so make sure you do this correctly if you are building this farm in the biome where there's no thunder you don't need to worry about it so yeah now go ahead and do the same on this top layer as well the same over here so string all the way over here here also in this area as well here here and here in this inside as well here over here as well here as well you get the point all the way around even on this top layer so yeah make sure you put string because like i said lightning will strike if there's a string over here or a string over here as well fire will not catch because string prevents fire from catching on the leaf so make sure you do that this is really important if we don't do this then lightning will strike on the leaf and you will see the leaf catch on fire then yeah so make sure you do this correctly once the string placement is done and your iron farm is done that's it now you can have your iron you can go ahead and afk right over here all the iron golems will spawn they will float down into the kill chamber and their loot will be collected in the chest yeah and that's it it's really simple it's easy you can build it with just 10 villagers and do 20 beds it's really cheap you will get 270 ingots per hour if you build two layers if you're only building one layer you will get 240 ingots per hour yeah it's pretty simple really easy and straightforward thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like and make sure to subscribe and also share this video to other minecraft players and that will really really mean a lot to me and also make sure to check out my channel because there is a lot and more bedrock tutorials to come in the future so make sure that you are subscribed and also if you have any issues or anything regarding this forum so make make sure to comment down below and i will try my best to help you out so yeah I'll be seeing you guys next tutorial. Adios.